Imagine that you could spend a whole week digging in the ground and looking for archaeological ruins. You would also take pictures of these sites. They would be very surreal. Would you be up for it? Grab your magnifying glasses and let's have a look. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Explore the city and find ancient history. You're walking around Esquiline Hill on a sunny day. You've just had your third gelato. Back in 64 BC, the Roman Emperor Nero ordered the construction of a vast palace in the Dalmas area or Golden House. The construction finished in 68 BC. The palace was huge. It was three times the size of Vatican City. It had gold leaf decor, semi-precious stones, and lots of frescoes. There were over 300 rooms in the palace. Some of them looked out over the beautiful vineyard and animal-filled woods nearby. It held a 100-foot statue of Nero himself. The octagonal wall was the grandest construction in the complex. Initially, it was a banquet hall with waterfalls cascading down the back walls. The hall rotated around its axis day and night as petals fell from above. Nero's successors stripped it down. Today, tourists can visit the main structure of the palace as well as the octagonal hall. All of the materials used to build it are still present. The archaeologists excavated it, and you can easily recognize it even though its walls are bare after flying halfway across the world. How ancient wonders look today. Then versus now. Angkor Wat We are deep in the Cambodian jungle. This is a tropical climate, so bringing bug spray with you is essential. Mosquitoes can get crazy here. Angkor is a city in the forest. It was the capital of the Khmer Empire from the 9th century to the 15th century. Angkor is the capital city in the Khmer language. More than 1 million people once called the city home, making it one of the largest in the pre-industrial world. Angkor is an architectural marvel that attracts visitors from all over the world. The center of the complex features huge sandstone blocks, you can see the Khmer style in this. The temple is called Bayon. The Angkor Empire founder is smiling on all of the 216 decorations. Scientists say this is meant to resemble him. Some people think the towers used to be decorated with gold, but today they are covered in vines. The city was abandoned in 1431 and wasn't rediscovered until the 1840s. In 1992, it was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ancestral Puebloans The United States is not usually where ruins can be found, but here's one in the mountainous state of Colorado. The ancient home place of the Ancestral Puebloans is located here. There are over 600 cliff dwellings in Mesa Verde National Park that the Pueblos around the 1190s built. The Cliff Palace had over 150 rooms. It was a multi-story building made of sandstone and mud mortar. Visitors had to climb a ladder that was 32 feet high to get to the balcony house. The mid-sized village has 38 rooms and two kivas. Kivas are traditional chambers that the Puebloans built for ceremonial purposes. 
The Puebloan occupation of Mesa Verde ended by 1300. Fortunately, the site is now open for visitors. Petra, Jordan If you like landscapes with a reddish color, you'll love Petra. This city, located in Jordan's desert, is a marvel of the ancient world. Back in the 4th century BCE, the city was a commercial center. The Nabataeans and Arab Bedouin tribe lived in the Rose City city for many years and thrived, accumulating a lot of wealth. They invented a water management system that made the region habitable. The gate-like structure carved from a rock is called the Pharaoh's Treasury. It stands at the main entrance to the site and is said to have a hidden treasure beneath it. The ancient site was named one of the world's seven new wonders in the early 2000s. Mayan City Chichen Itza is an archaeological site with the best preserved pyramids on earth. It eventually fell in the mood for more Mayan ruins. This Mayan city is over 1,500 years old and is located in Mexico's Yucatan state. The town was home to 35,000 people at its peak. The site has 26 ruins that have not yet been uncovered. The highlight of this place is El Castillo. It is a temple 80 feet tall and has 91 steps on each side, including the upper platform. There are 365 steps in the solar year, one for each day. Scara Bray One of the oldest lost cities in this list is from the Neolithic period. This was when humans started farming for the first time instead of living a fully nomadic lifestyle based on hunting and gathering. Scarabray is a Neolithic settlement located on Orkney Island off the coast of Scotland. Thanks to regular upkeep, the site is remarkably well-preserved. You can see prehistoric dwellings complete with stone-built furniture and even primitive toilets. The researchers discovered runic symbols on the site, leading them to believe that the ancient people may have attempted some form of writing.